Hello, I'm Jamil, co-founder and CEO of Advanced Microbubbles and a biocolors expert. My team aims to solve that age-old problem in cancer chemotherapy, where less than 1% of injected drugs can penetrate the tumor owing to biological barriers, such as the blood-brain barrier or the tumor endothelium barrier. And this contributes to another problem where the high doses of chemo needed to kill the tumor is just so toxic that is killing the patient as well. But we have a powerful solution. The use of ultrasound triggered microbubbles, proven to be safe for diagnostic imaging, which we've now optimized to solve cancer drug delivery. Let's take a look at how it works. It's very simple. Our proprietary microbubbles are injected into the systemic circulation together with the drug of choice, which can be either co injected with the microbubbles or sequentially injected with the bubbles. Now, our microbubbles are designed to last up to 30 minutes in circulation. At the specific site of the disease, on the ultrasound, the microbubbles will vibrate rapidly at the frequency of the ultrasound, expanding and shrinking to create powerful mechanical and fluid forces that overcomes the biological barriers and pumps the circulating drugs deep into the disease site in a manner that is simultaneously safe non-invasive and targeted. Now, many researchers and companies have been trying to use microbubbles as a companion drug therapeutic, but they all started out with the conventional diagnostic imaging bubbles, which aren't very stable in circulation and are widely heterogeneous in size, leading to an inconsistent acoustic response for drug delivery translation. So they eventually reach out to us. The reason is we are the only company in the world that makes the holy grail in microbubble engineering, a microbubble that is both stable in circulation for up to 30 minutes and also uniform in size, our proprietary monodispersed size isolated microbubbles. With the predictable acoustic response of the same bubbles, we can now control cancer drug delivery, allowing for up to 50 times greater drug uptake to the tumor site, consistent and reproducible drug dosing at the tumor site and the ability to significantly reduce drug dosing, which will help mitigate the side effects of chemotherapy. Our collaborators at NIH NIDA published a proof of concept showing the power of the same bubbles. In this study, the target was the rat brain. The image you're looking at is the control rat after injection of a fluorescent drug alone. But as you can see, there's not really much penetration of the drug into the disease site. But when you compare it to the use of the drug and our technology, voila, you can see clear penetration of the drug at the targeted region. And this was at least tenfold greater than with the use of the conventional microbubble sizes. Now this study led to a lot of excitement as it proves that the poor drug penetration problem can be solved using our microbubbles as compared to the conventional diagnostic imaging bubbles, leading to an LOI from InsightTech for clinical translation. But for us, the next step was to prove that we can treat cancer in a much safer manner, which is much easier to do in an abdominal cancer model. An example of this is neuroblastoma, a rare disease, a tumor that develops in adrenal glands and our first clinical indication. At IndieBio, we've been generating proof of concept to use the highly chemotoxic drug, l drugs to treat this disease. Folks, in spite of the challenges of working during this ongoing COVID crisis, we are very pleased to show some exciting preliminary results. For the first time, we are able to halt tumor growth using a very low and safe dose of chemotherapy, one megs per kg, all without any observable side effects to the specimen, such as loss of weight or loss of motor function. This was not possible using that low dose chemotherapy alone. This holds promising clinical implications as it means chemo can change from what it is today with its terrible side effects to one way envision it could be. We may finally have an ability to kill the cancer without killing the patient. We hope to expand on this study and then follow it up in a pancreatic cancer model, a highly lethal form of cancer. Right now, our microbubbles are being made in a laboratory-grade facility, but in order to meet regulatory demand for them, we'll be pursuing the 505B2 regulatory pathway, which allows us to leverage the safety data of existing drugs to be used in combination with our technology 
and it means that we don't have to duplicate expensive clinical trials. By combining this pathway with the orphan drug pathway, we believe we can cut our time to market to three to four years. So our platform strategy is to market our sim bubbles as a companion therapeutic for a wide range of injectable chemotoxic drugs. We will start out by pursuing the rare disease and hard to drug tumors and then expand to more prevalent cancers like breast and prostate cancer. And then later on expand to other diseases like diabetes. We believe we can charge a premium for our procedure based on expected cost savings to the patients and to the clinics. Finally, along our pathway to the clinics, we intend to partner with pharma to enable the safety and efficacy of their library of old and new drug classes. We can also develop new drug chemical entities for pharma that will leverage our microbial technology for superior drug performance. With that being said, I would like to introduce our team, which consists of a unique combination of expertise in microbubble and ultrasound terranostics, which have at least five years experience in the field and hail from the same microbubble research lab. I have 13 years experience myself and a PhD in chemical engineering. My co-founder, Konos Lagos, is also a chemical engineer and is an expert on microbubble, click chemistry and scale up on the GLP. Dr. Shushank Searcy is a professor of biomedical engineering and an expert on ultrasound guided drug delivery with microbubbles. We are supported by an excellent advisory board consisting of Steve Tyrell, who is experienced getting drugs approved with the FDA, and Dr. Badri Rangarajan, a pharma veteran and a rare disease expert. Thank you for listening. I have been Jamil Feshiton with Advanced Microbubbles, and together we can make an impact in the lives of future cancer patients.